Hello friends, loved ones, and other citizens of YouTube. My name is Dr. Rice, also known as Dr. Mitch, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're gonna to be talking all about acute bronchitis as this is part of a series that I'm doing on YouTube as well as going on my website as part of patient education. In these videos, I try to summarize exactly what you need to know about specific medical conditions or lab tests or other type of imaging from the patient's perspective, not everything that we have to know. My goal is to provide just enough science to where things make sense, but not to overwhelm you. So enough blabbering, let's talk about acute bronchitis. Acute bronchitis, by definition, is an infection that has to do with the lower respiratory tract. So your respiratory tract, or the pathway that the air goes from outside into the world into your lungs, is divided into an upper respiratory tract and a lower respiratory tract. The upper respiratory tract consists of your nose, your mouth, sinuses, and the upper part of your throat known as the pharynx and the larynx. The lower respiratory tract consists of everything else downward, including the trachea, also known as the windpipe, as well as the little tubes that connect your windpipe into your lungs and of course the lungs themselves. Whenever we have an infection in the upper respiratory tract, we basically call that the common cold. And so you can kind of think of acute bronchitis as being a common cold for your lungs. If we break down the actual word, and I always like to do this because it helps figure out what other fancy schmancy medical terms mean, bronchitis broken up into its two root words, bronch meaning bronchial, those tubes that connect the airways in the lungs to the windpipe or your trachea, and then itis, which means inflammation. Inflammation is basically your own body's immune system at work trying to kill off the little critters that are where they're not supposed to be. Symptoms of acute bronchitis are synonymous with that of common cold. You frequently see runny nose, sniffles, cough, <laughs> kind of throat clearing or post nasal drip, and sometimes you can see fevers. It's important to note that your symptoms may last for up to two to three weeks, but you should be progressively getting better by the end of those two weeks. If you start getting better and then start getting and feeling a lot worse, that's when you should go back to your primary care physician or healthcare provider well, they will probably want to do a chest x-ray to make sure there's not a bacterial infection that could lead to pneumonia. What's really important to know about acute bronchitis is that greater than 95% of the time, it's caused by a virus. Why is this significant? Well, if it's caused by a virus, that means that getting antibiotics will actually not help you at all with the infection. If you have acute bronchitis, there's a few things that you can do in order to help make yourself feel better. The biggest thing that you can do is adequate hydration in order to thin out the mucus production, as well as flush out all the gunk that's building up in your body. With acute bronchitis, you're likely to have a cough, and sometimes you cough up a bunch of gunk and we call that a productive cough, and other times you just have a dry cough where not a lot of stuff like phlegm is coming up, and we call that a non-productive cough. If you have a productive cough with acute bronchitis, or really anything for that matter, you do not want to take a cough suppressant medication. I will say this again because it's really important. If you have a cough that is producing something, that is you're bringing phlegm up from your lungs, you do not want to take a cough suppressant because the whole point is to get all of that gunk out of your lungs. If you do want to suppress that cough because it's annoying, as most coughs usually are, a natural way that you can do it is to take spoonfuls of honey. And if you want to take a medication, look for something that has dextromethorphan, also known as D. M. Anything that has DM in it helps reduce the cough and you can buy this over the counter. If you wanna help thin out those secretions in order to help bring that gunk up a little bit easier, you can take something called guaifenesin, also known as mucinex. Look for anything with guaifenesin in it as this will help decrease those mucus secretions. Again, I say this in all my videos, but if you are experiencing symptoms and you're not sure what it is or what to do, please consult your local healthcare provider and they will hopefully steer you in the right direction. That's all for this video, guys. I hope it was helpful for you and I will see you all on the next one.